from my snare, so yeah. Okay, cool. Hello. Hello. It's working. What's up, Anna? Hey. It's working. Hey, Lily. <laughs> you started with an A. I heard everybody clapping. It's fine. I've had my teacher call me Hillary before. Were you letting me call you Haley yesterday? I don't think you were.
Praise cause you're sovereign. Praise cause you reign. Praise cause you rose and defeated the grave. I praise cause you're faithful. Praise cause you're true. Praise cause there's nobody greater than you. I praise cause you reign. Okay? You ready? Are you ready? Yeah. Romans 1.16 Romans 1.16 For I am not ashamed Of this good news about Christ It is the power of God At work Saving everyone who believes. What an awesome verse. That's the one on our shirts, I think. All right, so Romans 116. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. Oh. We got to do it again. Romans 1.16. Romans 16. For I am not ashamed, I am not ashamed of, this of this good news about Christ. It is the power of God, power of God at, work, at work saving everyone who believes. 
believes. Romans 1.16. Romans 1.16. All right, we're going to do super fast. You ready for super fast? Super fast. Romans 1.16. 16. For I am not ashamed of this good news about Christ. It is the power of God at work. Saving everyone who believes. Romans 1.16. All right, let's see. We need what kind of voice? A squeaky voice. Okay! You got a squeaky voice? Get your squeaky voice. Romans 116. For I am not ashamed of this good news about Christ. has one for us. Uh, all right, do we want to do... All right, can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay, I want everybody to stand up. We're going to do it as loud as we can. All right, are you guys ready? Yeah. Romans 1.16! Shame of this good news about Christ. It is the power of God at work saving everyone who believes. Romans 1.16. Good job. That was nice and loud. All right. Let's see if we can do a whisper voice. You guys think you could do a whisper voice? Yeah. Whisper. Whisper voice. Okay, here we go. Romans 1.16. For I am not ashamed of this good news. It is the power of God at work, saving everyone who believes. Romans 1.16. All right, I think we're going to do one more, and we're going to have Miracle do a volley, and then we're going to get Pastor Ron out. All right, you ready? All right, everybody stand up again. We're going to do ping pong back and forth. You guys start one word. We're going to bounce it back to them and so on. All right, you guys ready? Actually, yesterday I started with you guys, so we're going to start with you guys. You guys ready? Yeah. All right, first word. Job. Nicely done. All right. All right. Let's get our drum roll going. Get our drum roll going. We're going to count down. Three, two, one. Pastor Ron. Thank you. Hey guys! 
good to have you here tonight. Wow. And you know what? Tomorrow night, at the end of the service, we're going to do what? Have a baptism. A water baptism right under the tank in here. I'll probably swim across it a few times first to get it started. Maybe. Here, let me read you a couple of scriptures, okay? It's found in Jeremiah, first one, chapter 31, verse 3. It says, God told them. Have you ever had God tell you something? I'm going to tell you. If you talk to him, he will tell you stuff. <clears throat> That's just the truth of it. God told them, I've never quit loving you, and I never will. That's, right. That's what God says in Jeremiah 31, 3. God says he'll never quit loving you. Never, never, never. And then he says, expect love. Love and more love. He said three times. He said for you to expect love, love and more love from him. That's what he's talking about. In 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 22 says, You were cleansed from your sins. How about that? To be forgiven. Cleansed from your sins. You were cleansed from your sins when you obeyed the truth. What's the truth? The Bible. That's right. What's the truth? The Bible. Yes. You were cleansed from your sins when you obeyed the truth, the Bible. So now you must show sincere love to each other. Do you show love to your brothers and sisters? Yes. Do you show love to your mom and your daddy? Yes. Do you show love to your pastor? Yes. <laughs> yes. Love. Show love to each other as brothers and sisters. Love each other deeply with all your heart. And you know what he wants us to do? You know how God wants us to love? He wants us to love out loud. He wants us to love out loud. That's what I'm talking about. He wants us to love out loud. Why don't you read this, Susan? 1 John chapter 4, verse 7 says, Dear friends. Dear friends. How many of you have friends here? I have one. You have friends? Yeah. You're my friend, I think. I am. <laughs> Dear friends, let us continue, continue to love one another. For love comes from God. Anyone who loves is a child of God and knows God. But anyone who does not love does not know God, for God is love. God is love. Verse 9, God showed how much he loved us by sending his one and only son. Now, does anybody know what God's one and only son's name is? Jesus! Jesus! Yes. You're exactly right. He sent his one and only son into the world so that we might have eternal life through him. That's what I'm talking about. Here, I got another page. Verse 10 says, that. this is real love. Not that we loved God, but that he loved us. He loves us more than we love him. And sent his son as a sacrifice to take away our sins. Now we're Everyone. We're almost got there. Mm -hmm. Galatians chapter 5 verse 15, uh, 13 and 14 says, For you have been called to live in freedom. You know what freedom is? How, you guys like to be free? Yes. Or do you guys like to live where she lives? Is that your house right here? <laughs> yeah. Oh, ho, ho. well, you don't want to really live there very long. Maybe visit a little bit. But it says right here, where does it say that? For you have been called to live in freedom, my brothers and sisters. But don't use your freedom to satisfy your sinful nature. Instead, use your freedom to serve one another in love. Serve people. Love people. That's what God created you for. We're about done. Luke chapter 11 verse 33 says, No one lights a lamp and then hides it or puts it under a basket. Instead, a lamp is placed 
on a stand like this right here where its light can be seen by all who enter the house. That means not being ashamed. That's what it says. Letting our light shine, not hiding it. I think we just got one more verse right here maybe. Mark chapter 12 verse 28. One of the teachers of religious law was standing there listening to the debate. He realized that Jesus had answered well. So he asked of all the commandments which is most important. Does anybody know what the most important commandment is? He said of all the commandments which is the most important. And Jesus replied the most important commandment is this. Listen, O Israel, the Lord our God is the one and only Lord, and you must love the Lord your God with all your heart. Can y'all say that? All your heart. Yes. And all your soul. Say that with me. All your soul. And all tells us, he says, and the second command is equally as important. Love your neighbor. Love your neighbor. As yourself. As yourself. If you get hungry, are you going to get something to eat? Yes. If you get thirsty, are you going to get something to drink? Yes. So if your neighbor gets hungry, what are you going to do? Feed him. If he's thirsty, what are you going to do? Give him something to drink. That's the Christ-like way. He says here, uh, excuse me, where was that? No other. No other commandment is greater than these. I only have one more to read. And, I gotta and show this, you is, this is your memory verse. This is your memory verse. It says, For I am not ashamed of this good news. I am not, not ashamed. ashamed. Are you ashamed? Nope. Are you ashamed? Nope. Are you ashamed? Nope. I am not ashamed of the good news. That's, that's what we call this book. The good news. For I am not ashamed of this good news about Christ. It is the power of God at work. Saving everyone who believes. Did you know that's how to get saved? And how to go to heaven? Believe. Just believe. Just got to believe. He says, I am not ashamed of this good news about Christ. It is the power of God at work saving everyone who believes. Do y'all believe in Jesus? Yes. He says he saves everyone who believes. And then the last verse that says, this good news tells us how God makes us right in his sight. This is accomplished from start to finish by faith. Faith. Can you say faith with me? Faith. Faith, faith is believing that God's going to do exactly what he said. That God's going to do what he said in his word. And when you pray about things, faith is believing God's going to answer your prayers. And he says, as the scriptures say, it is through faith that righteous persons have life. And the way we get eternal life is through faith. You got to believe in him. That's what I'm talking about. So God wants his love and his light to shine out through us into this dark world. And I wonder if I have my... Yes. Just like in that song, don't you love the song Praise? And a part of it says, I won't be quiet. My God is alive. How can I keep it inside? He wants that light to shine out. You don't hold that? Yep. Let's go down. Can you plug it? Can you just plug it into your head or? No. Oh, you can plug it in somewhere. Is there a power that comes from here? Yeah. Hey, you, you can put that down. Is there uh, an easy way? Right. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, there you go. Can, can you hang on to that? Don't let yep. it get away from us. Yep. Let me see. You got my bag over there? It's right here. Okay. Can you hand me a, a something out of that bag? Yes. Okay. You know, uh, you got some water I can put in here? Yo. <laughs> How many, how many jars do you want for this uh, one? Uh, Just the two? Or you want yeah, that'll be okay. 
I don't want to blow it all over my face. Oh, that's right. Okay, that'll be all right. I hope it don't blow up. Don't, don't. Yeah. <laughs> Here, put some in this one. And then you can feel that one. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, that one's way down. Yeah. Did oh, you drink some of it when I wasn't looking? No, the fizz just... Are you sure? Stopped fizzing. Okay. All right. Okay. You gonna hold that? There. <clears throat> put it there. God wants his light and his love to shine through each and every one of us in this dark world. He genuinely does. Okay. Everybody blow at it on the count of three. One, One two, two, three. three. Did you turn it on? Did you plug it up? <laughs> Try another. Do you need air? Uh -huh. Ta da Thank you, Miracle. Okay. Shining bright in this dark world. Okay, let me see. Do we have yep. do we have another couple of them? Yep. Thank you, Miracle. You must have had the magic touch. Okay. Okay. Look, I got to do something about it. that one there. Whoa. I think it's overflowing. <laughs> well, hang on, let it flow a little bit higher. What was that? Oh. Okay. Okay. That'll probably do it. Okay. Okay. Put the lids on yeah. and put them up there. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Whoa! I dropped my lid, Ma. It's okay. It's just water. So these were a special water, but this was just plain water. Streets of gold. You ever heard of the streets of gold? 
In heaven there are streets made out of solid gold. They really, really are. It's pretty amazing. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. And the way that you can shine bright in this world is by having Jesus in your heart. And his love and light will shine through. You're right. Do, do, yes? And can I see your bottle a second? Yeah. This right here, this is not the way you want to look. You want to have the light of God shining in you and through you. So we're going to pray right now, first off. And ask you to join us as we pray and acknowledge Jesus as our Lord and Savior. And that's all we got to do before we're baptized tomorrow night. We just got to believe that Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior. Hey, these things are still shining, aren't they? They are. Would you pray with me? Dear Heavenly Father. Dear Heavenly Father. I believe in you. I believe in you. And I believe that you love me. And I believe that you love me. And you have a spectacular life planned for me. And you have a spectacular life planned for me. You know every detail of my life. You know every detail of my life. Everything at home. Everything at home. Everything at school. Everything at school. And I trust you Almighty God. And I trust you Almighty God. Lead me and guide me. Lead me and guide me. Into the best pathway. Into the best pathway. For my life. For my life. This is what I'm asking of you. This is what I'm asking of you. In the name of your son. In the name of your son. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Amen, amen and amen. Now, should I drink all these before we go? No. I don't think I already drank a half of one of them other ones a while ago. So do I, I reckon we're going to have to head on. Here. You take that one there. Oh. Wow. guys we love you and we'll see you a little bit later did y'all enjoy the foam that they had out there last night that was that was awesome i saw some of you guys out there and foam was just going everywhere hey we'll talk to you a little bit later on god bless you we love you Who saw the drama so far? What do you think of the drama? Yeah. Woo! Are you getting ready to watch night four? Yeah. I can't wait to see what's going to happen. It's going to be awesome. So here we go. Get ready for night four. What is the code again? E610. That's Ephesians 610. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. E610. Got it. What are we supposed to do with this stuff? I have no idea. I think this goes here. Okay, I think this goes here. Hurry, they're coming! On guard! Pause simulation! Whoa, that's cool. Alright, world changers, who are you? We are world, world changers! What are you gonna do? Change, Change the, the world. world! How are you guys gonna do that? That's a very good question. Yeah, I was hoping you knew. Wait, uh, oh, I forgot. Mm. Hey. It looks, it's obvious that we need some help here. What was the verse that you used to open the trunk? E610, Ephesians 610. Be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. 
That's right. A world changer needs to be strong in the Lord and not in his own power. That's right. You need to accomplish his word to do your, his power. That's where the stuff wasn't working. We were using our own power, not God's. That's right. Hey, there's somebody who I want you to meet, okay? So follow me. How do you work this thing? Uh, let me do it. I know more about electronics than you do. You don't know more about anything oh. than I do. Oh, is that a fact? Yeah. Is it? Well, how about chicken parmesan, huh? Hmm? You got me there. You know more about yeah. chicken parmesan than I do, but not about electronics. Whatever. All right, now let's see if I hit this red button. Again. No! Never hit the red button, ever. Why not? You know, I don't really know. But usually red is bad, so here, here. Yeah. Try, try this one. the chicken subtitles. Oh, man. Here. <laughs> try try this one instead. Sorry about that here. We'll try hey. this one. Hey. Hold on, let's wait. Yeah, what does that one do? And click the button again. Yeah. Let's see. Mm. That one. Yeah. Whoa. Is it done? Okay. Man. Sorry about that. I think that was the moon, the moonwalk button. Rough button. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. Just stop hitting buttons. Fine. You know what? If you want to do it yourself, if you if you don't want my help, fine. You do it yourself. I will. Good. Ooh, ooh. Press this one. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. What did you do? Um, you know, I'm not entirely sure, but I think we just teleported through space and time and are now in the year 40 AD. Well, how could you possibly know that? Oh, because it says it right there. Oh, yeah, you're huh? right. Wow, that's great. You there. Who, us? Yes, you. I'm Sal. I'm looking for followers of Jesus. Have you seen any of these people known as Christians? No, not around here. Why do you ask? These Christians must be stopped, and I won't rest until I have every one of them rounded up, imprisoned, and executed. Ooh, I like this guy. <laughs> this, this Jesus, have you heard of him? Uh, yes, uh, no. Maybe. You know, Jesus was a carpenter from Nazareth. Oh. He performed miracles like healing the sick and restoring sight to the blind. There are even stories that he raised people from the dead. Yeah. Uh. He believed that the only way to, to God was through him. And his followers called him the Messiah. So me and my fellow Pharisees, we knew that this man had to be stopped so we conspired against him. Ooh. We had him arrested, Ooh. beaten, yeah. right. and crucified. Okay. Now, now there are reports flying around the countryside like wildfire that this Jesus has been risen from the dead. Wow, all right. His followers believe that he's the son of God and the savior of the world. They believe that only through faith in him can their sins be forgiven? 
and they want to tell the whole world about it but i'm not gonna let that happen yeah. i think we can help each other yeah we too are looking for the followers of jesus we are they call themselves world, world changers. changers and one is like this tall and the other is like this tall yeah and one's like hi my name's Allie, and i'm a world changer <laughs> And the others are like, hey, my name's Ben, and I like basketball. He's the worst. These are followers of Jesus? Yes, yeah. they are. This message of Jesus must be stopped. Right. I need your help. Let's stop this before it spreads any further. Come with me. <laughs> soldier actually have killed me if you didn't pause that simulation? Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> okay. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Well, want to get started? If that's what you want. Yes. We do. Okay. Okay. Okay, world changers. It's time you meet someone who can personally tell you the importance of the armor of God and not trusting in your own strength. Who is it? His name is Paul, and he wrote most of the books in the Bible. But most of the books were actually letters to the church, like the book of Ephesians. Paul helped lead the early church and took the message of Jesus Christ to places that never heard it before. That sounds great. Where do we meet this fellow world changer? Huh. Not where, but when. And I think it's best if you guys would split up into two groups and you can cover more ground that way. Allie, you travel with Penny. And Ben, you're with Gabby. <laughs> Gabby moves. Okay. okay, agents. What are your coordinates? E610. Ready, Allie? Ready. Are you ready, Ben? Yep. A. 83. Wait a minute. A83. Yeah, says it right here. A83. That doesn't sound right. It's supposed to be... Okay. Get out of your way. Where? We're here, I think. Oh, Gabby, I think we've got the wrong coordinates. Nonsense. It's A83. A83, let me read it for you. Okay. At the time, the church of Jerusalem suffered terribly. All the Lord's followers, except the apostles, were scattered mm -hmm. ev everywhere in Judea and Samaria. Saul started making a lot of trouble for the church. He went from house to house, arresting men and women and putting them in jail. <laughs> I knew I took a wrong turn at Hebrews. That Saul guy doesn't sound nice. Oh, he wasn't a nice guy at all. He was a Pharisee. And he hated Christians. And he wanted to stop the spread of Jesus from happening. Why would he want to do that? Like, arrest Christians and stuff. Well, I don't know if you knew this, but when the church first started, when the church first started, it was very dangerous to be a world changer. You could be thrown in prison. You could be killed just for believing in Jesus. Not only that, but for sharing him with others. 
There were powerful forces that were out to stop the spreading of the gospel. How did the message of Jesus continue to spread? Like, weren't they afraid? Nope. Dave, do you remember the postcard that you got and what the code was on it? Yes, R116. For I am not ashamed of the gospel, because this is the power of God that brings salvation to everyone who believes. Uh, exactly. That's exactly what it was. And that was written by a world changer named Paul. Right? And he was writing to other world changers. But he was fearless. And you know why? Because he believed that God was with him. And nothing made him afraid. It's pretty cool. I want to be bold like that. You will. But you know what? We better get out of here before somebody sees us. Sue. You do. Me? Oh no, uh, my, my battery is getting low, and I forgot my Seriously? adapter. Who are you? Um, my name is Ben Wilson, and this is Gabby. Hey, I forgot to tell you, he can't hear me. Okay, that doesn't help the situation at all. No, who are you talking to? Are you, are you praying? Are you a Jesus follower? In fact, I am. I'm not ashamed of him. I knew it. I'm gonna take you to solve. What? He has ways of dealing with people like you. Gabby, help! Don't be afraid. Remember, God is with you. Help! Hmm. Hmm. Interesting development. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> it was a nine three. I was offed by a number, but I have got to find a place to charge my phone. Otherwise, we won't get back. This is like a prison. This is definitely a prison, and I'm definitely Saul, a, a Paul, a prisoner for Christ. Hello, Penny. This is a new position for you, isn't it? What'd you get, a promotion? Technically, I'm still in training. Ah, I see. How's it going? Pretty good. Um, Allie here wants to become a world changer. We were reading your book to the Ephesians, so we, we figured we'd swing by and pick out your little brain. Ah, well, that's it. very interesting. You know, I'm in the midst of writing that letter to the Ephesians as we speak. You know, the church there is under a lot of pressure, as in most places. Believers are being persecuted, but despite this, the church there continues to grow. More and more people hear the gospel and believe. So that's how everyone will hear, as one person shares it with the next. Exactly as Jesus commanded us in the Great Commission. That's why I'm writing this letter, to support and strengthen our fellow world changers. Would you like to hear it, Allie? I'd love to. This is what I've, what I've put together so far. A final word. Be strong in the Lord and his mighty power. Put on all of God's armor so that you will be able to stand firm against all strategies of the devil. For we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies, but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world, against mighty powers in this dark world, and against evil spirits in heavenly places. Therefore, put on every piece of armor 
So you will be able to resist the enemy in the time of evil. Then, after the battle, you will still be standing firm, again, standing your ground, putting on the belt of truth and the body armor of God's righteousness. For shoes, put on the peace that comes from the good news so that you will be fully prepared. In addition to all of these, hold up the shield of faith to stop the fiery arrows of the devil. Put on salvation as your helmet and take the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. So that's the answer to being strong in the Lord, the armor. Yes, not physical armor like you see the, our, these Roman guards wear, but spiritual armor, the truth of God's word and his righteousness salvation and strength to protect us and the Holy Spirit to lead us. This is the armor that a world changer must be willing to put on every day. And so should you, Allie. I will. I will keep God's word a priority so I am ready for any battle. That's right. That's right. If God is for us, if God is for you, then no one can successfully be against you. Even in this prison right here, you'll never be alone. God is with me here, strengthening me every day. Hmm, what's wrong? I think I misplaced my phone somewhere. That might make getting home just a tad bit challenging. What about Gabby and Ben? Can we find them? Well, they're not exactly now. What do you mean by now? They're about 20 years earlier than us. What? Why? To meet Paul. Not this Paul, the same Paul, but different. How am I doing in here? Well, I'm a little confused, but, you know, I haven't traveled through space and time like you have. Hmm. Well, they entered code A83. That's Acts 8-3. Let's see here. Acts 8-3. Saul started causing a lot of trouble for the church. He went from house to house arresting men and women and putting them in jail. That Saul guy, it doesn't sound that good. <sighs> she entered the wrong code again! Cabby! Yeah. Is Ben okay? Uh, you know, I'll have to say that if Ben is an unashamed follower of Jesus, he's certainly in trouble if he bumps into Saul. How do you know? Because, my dear girl, my name wasn't always Paul. People used to call me Saul. You're Saul? I am him. He persecuted people like us. No! Michelle around? Yeah. All right, 
right. Well, if anybody sees Michelle, can you let her know? Okay. All right. So what we're going to do is we are going to start off with the squishy cheese. Who wants the squishy cheese? Okay, the first squishy cheese goes to Evan Perez. Evan Perez. Congratulations. All right. The next squishy cheese cube goes to Calista Bonavore. Y'all ready for this? Okay, we got some starry nights. And the first starry night goes to Ethan Dill. Ethan Dill. Who does it? Let's go. The next starry night goes to Eli Moriarty. Congratulations. Okay, how do we how are we doing this? All right. Next we have some lamps. The first lamp goes to Jasmine Kakaro. The next lamp goes to Lucien Jimenez. Lucien. All right, congratulations. All right, next up we got some headlamps. Here, Michelle. The first one goes to RJ Shafter. The next one goes to Adeline Montavon. Congratulations. All right. Next up, we got two tents. Who wants a tent? The first one goes to Alake Aldrano. All right, congratulations. The next one goes to Zila Thomas. Z-I-L-A Thomas. Okay, next up. We've got fishing poles. Oh, oh. Who likes to fish? Who likes to fish? Okay, the first fishing pole goes to Dexter Page. And the next fishing pole goes to Elias Phillips. All right. Shirt, are you? What's? What are we on time? Yeah. So do we want to raffle? Yeah, first raffle. All right. So here's what we're gonna do: is we're gonna raffle off some shirts, and um, and then we're gonna go ahead and let you guys go outside. So. Uh, do you want to go ahead and pick a, a name out of that bucket? Older group. 
The first t-shirt goes to... Um, it's Kaylee, and I'm having a hard time reading this handwriting. What's... Ka I don't know. Do you know anybody by... That says Lawrence. All right, Kaylee Lawrence. Kaylee Lawrence. All right, over there. One from this one. All right, next up we have... Caden Way. Caden Way. Yeah, if I call your name, why don't you just come up to the front? That way she can get a nice size for you. All right, next up, we got Josiah Hoffler. Josiah Hoffler, come on down. All right, next up, we got Gianna Stevens. Next up, Gianna Stevens, make your way down here if that's you. Uh, next up is Linda Dalton. Linda Dalton. L Y N D A Dalton. All right, well, if that's you, make your way down here. Uh, 11, 12. L Y N D A Dalton. No? All right. Ryder Turner. Ryder Turner. Where is he? All right, why don't you take his shirt for him? All right. Next up. Okay, next up, we have Jordan Stevens. <laughs> Camden Morin. Camden Morin in the nine and twelve group. Camden, M-A-R-I-N, Marin. Last one, Gabriel Jamaz. Gabriel? All right, he Okay. I'm going to hand it over to Michelle. Okay. All right, guys, we're going to be heading outside in a minute. Don't forget, if you haven't been baptized yet and you want to get baptized, tell your parents to sign you up and you can get baptized here on Friday. It was awesome last year. Make sure they sign you up. And make sure you bring a towel and a change of clothes, right? right? Right. I mean, we've had people go home wet before, but it's better if you have a towel. Okay, everybody have a seat. All right, so let's see here. We're going to do a couple jokes. Before we go outside, Kenny, let me hear your joke. A man walks into a bar. Out. Okay. Night, night. Nana. Nana. All right, knock, knock. Banana. Knock, knock. Banana. 
sleeping in a? Yeah. <laughs> All right, who else has? Are we ready? Okay, we are going to get ready to rotate monitors. Today we're going to do, when you're under the outdoor activity tent, half of your group is going to be at the park and the other half is going to be under the other tent. So right now the four to six year olds with the green band